What's going on YouTube? It's Trent here with Off-Road Odyssey. Today we are talking about the REI Big Haul. I've been looking for a travel bag that fits carry-on guidelines as well as will fit my needs for my work bag to replace uh, all the crap that I carry every day and put it into one place. I think I have finally found that bag after testing it for you know, only 24 hours now. I wanted to give my initial impressions and thoughts, and later on we'll do a long review. But, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the bag. This bag had to meet a few specific needs. The first thing was it had to be carry-on regulation size, which is 22 by 14 by nine. Uh, and it just about meet, meets that, uh, especially when it's uh, compression straps are down. So it will meet the carry-on regulations that I had for my airline. Now you wanna make sure you check with your airline, but uh, those are pretty standard sizes. The next thing that I needed was I wanted to make sure it had a rugged design. Uh, this was the most important feature as it was going to be going on a month long traveling trip with me and in the time between uh, travel I wanted to make sure that I could use it as my work bag. This is super important to me because uh, being in the job or the career that I'm in uh, we're kind of tough on things and throw things around you know you get to work and you toss it down um, or throw it in the back of your truck when you're loading stuff up uh, and it's mixed with a bunch of other gear so the rugged design was really important to me for this bag the other thing that I really wanted to make sure that this bag could do was be not only a duffel bag but a backpack and with the design that REI came up with you can do just that and it's very unobtrusive in either way that you decide to carry it. Uh, being that I was going to travel with it everyone says roller options are the best but being that we're going to be doing a lot of hiking and camping and um, you know outdoorsy stuff uh, I wanted to make sure that I, wheels don't particularly work in that environment so the backpack straps were important. So having backpack straps is super important to me. Uh, I wanted them to be comfortable. I wasn't expecting to, you know, go hiking, you know, long distance with them or uh, necessarily backpack with it or anything. But the backpack straps had to be of decent, you know, comfort. So that REI, being that it is, uh, you know, a travel company, did a great job on these. You can see they have. Um, soft form padding here where it would reach your neck it contours well uh, the whole design it's got um, besides dog hair it's got uh, kind of a mesh uh, feel and it's about uh, you know a quarter inch thick maybe a little bit thicker than that um, so that was that was definitely important to me uh, one thing that I not really worried about but um, that you know because it is a kind of a pulling design here you do get a little bit of pull on the actual bag up top but i haven't found it as an issue when i'm actually wearing the backpack the other important thing with the backpack straps was i wanted it to be stowable if i didn't want to use it and they do just that um, so you can basically take these straps out like this and you can tuck them away up in here which this actually serves as another purpose right now now if you're just wanting to use it as a duffel they've got you covered on that too um, there's duffel bag straps that have the same uh, attachment mechanism here and the duffel bag straps are really good build quality solid uh, webbing material and they have decent length that's one thing with um, duffel bags that I always notice the handles are super short and so it's like doesn't give you any length to carry it it doesn't allow you the option 
to kind of sling it over your shoulder if you wanted to, uh, and these do. And you could shorten them up if you wanted to bring them to the backpack attachment points here. You can just move them over and it will shorten the handles up. So awesome design for a duffel bag as well. Now the other thing that was important was a rugged material. And you can see this is a kind of, um, the best way to describe it is kind of like a waterproof or water resistant ripstop material and that covers the entire top of the bag or the portion that's against your back which also allows for if you do sweat on it and it covers the entire sides of the bag as well um, on both these sides and then they use a nylon ish material on the side here as well as it lines the entire bottom here so we'll see how this holds up uh, inside does seem to be lined with like a water resistant plastic so that's good so if you set this down on something wet this material is not going to absorb it but I think they know that obviously this nylon holds up better uh, for the bottom of the bag so another feature that I wanted to make sure that I had was the ability to lock and they've got nice solid zippers that allow you to place a lock in there um, they move well they've got nice pull tabs and again it just goes with that rugged design so one thing i do like on my bags is compression straps this allows me to fit more stuff in there and keep it all compact uh, and then if i don't have a lot of stuff it allows me to shrink the size of the bag and rei did a great job in the design with these compression straps they're on all four sides and they basically don't pull from just one point because a lot of times you'll get that it'll pull from one point and just cinch here they've split the webbing uh, and they basically create it so it's in line with the material here. So it creates a little wider um, cinching point, if you will. On the webbing of the handle, you have molly attachments. So if you're someone who uh, has molly pouches, you can place them on the side um, here. The other thing that I like to do with molly is, uh, is actually take you know rope or string or another piece of webbing and you can attach um, items to the side of the bag so say you were you know you you were hi out hiking or you're out you know and about you can take this and put some webbing on there and basically like mount your tripod bag to the side and it will hold it on there uh, nice and stable so that's an awesome addition that they didn't have to do but uh, good insight on their part now one thing that's overlooked a lot is grab handles um, these have served wonders on a lot of bags in the past that I have uh, and you know you usually think oh one's fine whatever I can carry it from here carry it up along the side or right, I did it one better and put one on every single side <clears throat> so no matter where you put this bag whether it's in your car or I uh, say it is your carry-on um, you can just easily grab it and you don't have any issues with the ability to just get out and grab the bag really really quickly and easily and they're really solid build quality um, you know box stitched on the, the corners here and it's one solid piece of webbing that wraps around which is nice being that I'm gonna be traveling with this I wanted to have a place to place my iPad and uh, it be secure and since this is against my back this pouch right here although probably not meant for it it perfectly fits an 11 inch iPad Pro um, and you wouldn't you wouldn't have any issues so that's awesome you, it's very concealable no one's gonna really know that anything's in there um, and it's against your back so you're not gonna have anyone steal it now I don't know if this is intentional I probably a drain hole on the bottom here but if you did have headphones you could drop your phone in here run the headphones down um, if you're using wired headphones maybe charging cables uh, put like battery packs here and you could you could um, charge your phone or other devices uh, running a cord out this way so that was kind of a, a interesting point but I don't think that's what it's intended for
I do currently have my work stuff in here, but uh, when you open this up, it's nice. Say you are using it as a travel bag and it is on your backpack, uh, you can place your um, camera basically right here and access it quickly and easily without having to take it completely off your backpack. Um, and just pull out the camera. So that's kind of what I was doing when I was hiking out to this spot. The whole bag actually fits in this pouch here. So in comparison, this is like a standard size book and you know, it's probably about two of those. So it's fairly small and it's nice to have this. Um, you know, I actually leave it in here so I can throw some of my, uh, items in this and just carry it back and forth instead of taking it out of my car so right when you open this bag it's pretty wide it is a 40 liter bag like i said um you you have mesh up here so i keep just socks underwear up top and then uh when i get to work i've just been throwing my keys and other belongings in here that i would carry in my pocket normally so you can keep your wallet whatever it's small enough or you can put more clothing items um, and it would fit perfect <clears throat> so it's a nice wide opening which i uh, i enjoy tremendously because um, previously you know my bag had just a small opening like this and it makes it very hard to grab everything out of it so <clears throat> i have uh, basically what would consist of like four days at work um, but uh, you can realistically get five or, or even i fit seven shirts along the side of here uh, so you can fit seven shirts in here rolled up nicely. Um, I have a pair of pants lining the bottom right now. Um, but, you know, you can you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I've, I put my running shoes in there. Um, I have some workout shorts, some towels, some socks. So uh, it just allows a really a great, tremendous amount of space here. And then I just line any of the books or whatever along the top. Um, just to keep them from getting crushed too much. So overall, like, there's not a bag that I found for the price point of this bag, which I was able to get it for $73. Now, REI was having 20% off and I did use some of my dividends, so that kind of helped out. Um, this bag normally runs at $98, but considering that most bags that are of solid quality are uh, the hundred dollar price point or more. Uh, <clears throat> I think that it's a good deal for what you're going to uh, get out of it uh, with all its extra versatility. Uh, Patagonia sells one of very similar design and they want, uh, I think $120 is what it sells for. So if you're considering a bag and you are in a similar situation that I am where you do traveling here and there, uh, my hope is to do air travel more this year, but uh, if you travel and you need a carry-on size bag, you don't, you want something that will probably fit at least a week's worth of clothes um, and, you know, toiletries and everything else and be self-contained, uh, but be rugged enough to throw around. Uh, and kind of use it as an outdoor use as well. I think this bag would definitely fit your needs. Uh, only time will really tell if there's features that I'm not stoked on uh, or don't love. So I will do a long-term review after I've used it in my travels and uh, used it at work for a little bit longer. But for now, I'm going to give this bag a, you know, a 4.8 out of 5 uh, just because of the fact that it is a solid build and so far it's been able to accompany everything that I need. Uh, one thing that I would probably do is just either put dividers in there or some way to kind of divide the stuff up. Uh, I will probably buy travel or packing cubes and I think that that will eliminate kind of the big void that you have here and divide up your stuff a little better, uh, but that's more just personal preference. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, just do me a favor, tap that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this bag or if you have travel bags that you love. I would love to get some feedback and see what bag you're using when you travel. Um, <clears throat> as always guys, I appreciate you watching and have a great day. Peace.